This is a flange change from a four bolt to a two bolt for the dynamic motor BMPH and the BMRS utilize the same method for changing the bolt pattern. There is also a spacer washer that has to be uh, within a certain tolerance and Kenny will share those details as well. First thing is our flange change. Remove the plastic cap, remove the Woodruff key, When you lift this flange up, you gotta kind of hold that shaft in place or it'll come up. So you just hold that down, lift up, keep all that there. You need this thrust washer right here. Put it in your new flange. Put your O-ring in. These bolts here get torqued at 40 foot-pounds. All right, now we gotta flip it over check my spacer and check the tolerance on this motor so it don't lock up. This spacer change is again for both BMP and BMRS. Take the whole rotating group off. All right. Sometimes this will, that's where that sits. Sometimes it'll stick to that, but that has to come off. You have to take your O-ring off. All right, then you're gonna have to take a depth mic, thousandth of an inch. I'm gonna get my measurement from in here. Then there's a formula you gotta take that, thousandth of an inch times 25.4 minus your tolerance of 0.3. And I have a cheat sheet here and that'll give you your measurement for your spacer. So you're converting from inches to millimeters. And this spacer plate, that uh, spacer washer that Kenny is working with, if it is not within the tolerance specified, it will cause your motor to lock up. You want to show maybe this right here, all the different sizes? These are the different sizes of uh, spacer washers that when he meets his uh, tolerance specs, then he knows where to go from. As you can see, they have them labeled and saved. Um, this may make it difficult for the infield change, um, but it is a method that has to be done properly or your motor will lock up. Then I'm gonna retime it. I'm gonna line that timing mark up with my front bolt hole. Place my spacer, wa spacer washer in place, put my O-ring on. Be careful, it's in place. It'll pinch very easily. Yeah, if that washer 
or that o-ring is pinched it will cause the motor to leak between the sections of the gerotor and the body housing take my end cap off I'm gonna line up my star with my timing mark a star point with my timing mark in here if it doesn't fall right in turn it to the right a little bit and it'll fall right into place realign the bolt holes Make sure O-ring's good. End cap back on. And these get torqued at 30 foot-pounds. Again, it's a torque of 30 foot-pounds for the body bolts off of the end cap. Over torquing would cause motor to potentially lock up, so that 30 foot pounds is critical. Now right, you want to check your rotation, put the motor in the vise, check your A port. A port with shaft facing forward or the nose, A port. Now, as you can see, there's some oil in the uh, A port there. Kenny will rotate. Clockwise, if this is timed correctly, the oil should be sucked in through the port, which it did. So, otherwise, if it was timed incorrectly, rotating the shaft clockwise would have pushed the oil up out of the port. And we would have to go back to that timing section that Kenny had said. There is a flange change. And showing also the method of the spacer washer in the back for the BMPH and BMRS.